Welcome back everyone! <laughs> this week we're at the Cochrane's XC. Um, yep, that was a fantastic start. I think I was trying to do, well, what I was trying to do was I had my both my legs down to try and do that MX start. Uh, Big Eye Motors showed me last year how to do them and I had been practicing them a little bit, but this time I had my foot, I think, rested on my rear brake. Not, not on the brake, but my leg was pushed against it. So as I tried to go forwards, I couldn't go forwards. So it, it, I mean, it helped me avoid the pileup, but I was basically straight away into last place. Um, but this week, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try harder. Right now, I still have a front fender. So I, I saw this big pile going into the wood, uh, into the into the woods. Yep, I, I knew this. I wanted to go right, but the guy was already bumping me from behind. And, well, I mean, he's straight up riding over the tree. Uh, I don't know what place and position I'm in right now, but I'm, I'm going to try and force my way up the, up the field. Ugh, in we go. Okay. Single file. So this is the Cockraise XC. They do it every other year. So big shout out to the uh, owners of this farm. I think it's on a farm. And they... they I don't know if they still do the motocross. I think they do. But I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I, I've never been here before. It's my first time. And um, the, the, the club that also runs this place, massive shout out to them as well. Um, they have cut this amazing single track. This trail is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's so good. And like, oh, it's so fast and so flowy. Uh, right now we're in a little bit of a train, but it was actually pretty, pretty good pace this, today. And then like, this this tra this this course is is absolutely fantastic. It has like sh wide open bits like that. I say wide open. It's wide open for me. Um, and uh, into like this nice tight little like technical twisty wibbly backs. There's there's even points where you almost would probably almost stop. Not quite, but you know you you're, you're slowing down dramatically. And then you come back out. And there's little jumps, and none of the jumps were particularly scary. I mean, this is my first lap. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Don't know what's happened to this guy. His bike's revving out. Um, but whatever. Two, two positions. Um, so, uh, there was a lot of people that came today. Uh, a lot of friends. Um, I came 28th in class out of 42 and 80th out of 162 overall. Although, having said that, um, there was a fella in my class who has every single lap was 26 minutes and then he also did a one minute lap and he was ahead of me so i'm not entirely convinced that is legit oh shit they're down uh that's um, andre uh andre i can't pronounce his surname my apologies balmere and oh my god that guy's that's, you don't want to be riding with that all tangled up so we're crossing over the bridge um yeah, so there's a lot of people here today uh, that I not recognise. Uh, Andre, um, uh, William, Chris, Isaac, Damien, Brian, we're all here today. Um, and I met a new guy called Phil. Phil uh, I met him last time at uh, RJ's. Uh, he's in the beginner's classes. Uh, he managed to come second overall, so that was, that was super cool. And, um, yep, yeah, coming up on people in, in the woods. Um, uh, so during the uh, riders' meeting, uh, the 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 person, the marshal, I don't know how to describe her. Oh, Andre got me again. <laughs> He's on a fucking mission. He wanted to make. I, I was speaking to him afterwards, and he said he, he had to make back the time. Uh, he's a little bit, whoops, he's down again, shit. <laughs> well, sorry man, I'm gonna like it. <laughs> He'll get me back in like 10 seconds anyway. But anyway, I was talking to the, uh, the lady at the front, uh, who does the, the, who sets everyone off. Um, I should really go find out her name, to be honest. She's at every single race, I see her every time. I just haven't spoken to her. Uh, but I should go, I, anyway. Um, she was saying, uh, she gave a little tip on the front to say if you're, um, if you're hearing someone rev bombing you behind, it is a race, um, but get out of the way, because <laughs> uh, they will obviously, uh, you're not part of their race. <laughs> um, I can hear Andrea coming back. I'll let him by. I don't want to block him. He's much, much faster than me. Uh, there, there was one time I managed to keep up with him for one lap in one race. <laughs> He's so much faster than me. Uh, <laughs> I say one lap. I mean, a section of a lap. 
anyways um and it, so uh, a lot of people you just come up behind them rev them they all moved out the way it was so nice compared to rj's i don't know if they saw my video or if it was just general rider feedback after rj's but the the tip at the start um telling people every every single person who got revved moved out the way almost immediately which was fantastic and then the other people were just people in my class that i could that i was racing for position anyway so it, it didn't matter i didn't rev them like that so yeah, so you would go in and out, and you'd go through this really cool like uh, grass bit. This is my first lap still, of course, so I'm not going as fast um, because, well, it's kind of terrifying. I don't know what, what's going on, and it's a little bit more open than I'm used to. Oh shit, blew a corner. I have a little bit more footage of some cool stuff on the second lap. I just want to get to that so I can show you some other interesting things, but I also don't want to cut out too much of the first lap. Um, my first lap was a 22.30. Uh, I was quite far back in the positions. I was 104th after that. Um, and then on the second... Wait, so this bit was a little bit slippery. Um, it doesn't look it in the video. It's not that slippery. And, ah, that thing that almost sent me down there. Yeah, you'll see it in the second lap. Oh yeah, you definitely will. Um, and my second lap was a 2014, so that was actually technically my fastest lap. Um, however, the second lap didn't go quite as well, and as you can see already, my speedos come out of place. I'm not doing 132, like it just flashed on the screen. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely come loose. The, the, that bloody cable is so useless, it wobbles out all the bloody time. It's so annoying. Useless beta electrics. Um, I didn't have a uh, stuck open float this time either, so that's always good. So, yes, my second lap was 2.40, however, oh, I tried to do the jump, I didn't quite make it, and the third, fourth, I only got three laps on footage, but, oh well, just, just, uh, yeah, I think I only got three laps on footage, but, um, uh, on the fourth lap, I actually managed to clear the jump, which I was very proud of, I was like, yeah, felt, felt good, um, but, <laughs> yeah, so my times were... I'll finally get there. Uh, 2231, 2014, 2050, 2057, 2140, and then my last lap was 2205. Um, and then guttingly on the last lap, I was, I, I, I caught Chris and um, I made it past him and then he was keeping pace with me. And I was like, looking back, I was like, oh my God, Chris is doing so good. This is incredible. Look, look how fast he's going. And then I slam into another tree and I fall down and in that time of me picking up the bike I lose two places and a third person gains on me so I'm like no so I think I dropped from 24th to 27th I mean I mean or 25th to 28th however you want to look at it I, I'm still a little confused about the guy with the who's all his laps are 27 minutes but somehow he did a one minute lap but you know hey ho whatever so coming through the barn, oh, that's, that was a cool feature, a lot of people around watching, and I come down this straight, and I'm like, no! I was looking forwards at the guy in the distance, so I don't know, I probably wasted like five or six, seven seconds there. Like, oh man. At least I didn't keep going and then realise I couldn't, like, pass the fence to get back in, because that would have been very frustrating had I done that. Um, I mean, maybe I could have gone through the hedgerow there, but that feels like I would have just been cutting the course. So I feel like I did the right thing. I don't think anyone fell in the in the <laughs> in the river, <laughs> but, um, and it got pretty pretty chewed up through here um, by by the sixth lap. Did six laps overall, so I was very happy with that. Um, yeah. So uh, Will, he absolutely fucking dominated us again. I wonder if he'll move up next year. Uh, that guy, that that fella, he absolutely flies. Um, it's on the Beta 200, I think. He was absolute rocket shit. Never keep up with him. And uh, a guy I met on the line, uh, Jacob, he says that he hadn't been riding for a good few years and it's just his second rate race back. And he did extremely well as well. He actually smashed it. Um, very consistent times. Actually just getting faster and faster looking at his times. So damn, well played to him. I, um, I have bought new gloves. I have got them, they're just not arrived, they haven't arrived yet. That was a silly of me, I went wide and now I'm all over the fucking What is this cloud show? Oh! <laughs> um, I do have new gloves coming, but on my fifth and sixth lap, my hand blistered up again and I wasn't able to ride as quick as I was in my first four laps. And I'm pretty happy with the times in my first four laps, they're all about 
Uh, they're all in the 20 minutes. Um, and I feel like that was a pretty good pace for me. And I was feeling really good. Um, but I feel like my cardio has improved. I just need to um, ride faster now. Just, just keep up the pace and um, practice my turning. I was also trying to do what uh, Fox was telling me. Um, where, you know, more front brake, be a bit more aggressive. And, um, you know, and brake just more with the front. Um, this bit was a little freaked me out a little bit because I, I kept bottoming out every time I was doing this time in the jumps um, coming down here this was a nice fun little drop off rattle down into like this tiny little tiny little dip but then coming back up here was good fun because you could just wheelie over everything so that felt really cool and there's a little jump coming up as well which was really cool um, yeah like jumping just jumped it again jump, just jump a few of the bumps that felt really fun felt like a, I felt cool <laughs> I'm actually really, really happy with my riding. I, my my two crashes, one you'll see soon, and the other was me looking backwards at Chris because I was so impressed with his riding. And uh, Chris told me afterwards that this is the, his favourite race he's ever done, and he rode really, really well. So he, he got five laps done, and one of his laps was 21 minute. So he was absolutely flying. That guy was on a mission. Um... I also managed to get Brian on the last lap as well, so I was like, ah, come on, Brian, speed up. <laughs> I really, I really, really liked how this went, went from, like, single trail through to not, like, full MX, you know, with the crazy big jumps, but there was, like, this little, like, dual track car style sand bit that was really cool, and the grass bits were really good. I'm really happy I put the front tyre on. Um, I'm pretty sure the stand cross is fine still, but I just felt like I, I just had so much confidence in my grip. Uh, I... I could have probably ridden faster. In fact, I feel like I was going around these corners faster in later laps, but because my hand was falling apart, I couldn't really grip the bars properly. And also, I think I need to... I don't know what I need to do with my leg. I, I Like, my left knee's tendon, the quadricep tendon, was uh, getting pretty sore on the last lap, so I wasn't able to stand properly. Um, I don't know if it's just weak or if I need to stretch more or I don't know it's not really happened before it was a bit strange but it also could be because this is the first race where I was actually moving in my opinion quite quickly and I was very happy with my speed but maybe my fitness or my endurance perhaps with my leg wasn't isn't keeping up with the pace that I was doing but yeah I, I, I'm just having such a blast with this trail oh it's so good so flowy so flowy I didn't turn the suspension down, so it's still on 15-15. Um, I didn't get that quite get that equilibrium pace of just feeling nothing. Uh, it was still bouncing about a little bit. Um, I don't know if I have to go harder or softer, but I wasn't stopping in the race to um, try and figure out if I had it too hard or too soft. Um, I could hear the rebound, though, um, going over things, so I don't know if that's a sign of anything. Like, when I'm going over things, I can hear it go as it's, like, throwing the fork back down. Um, I don't know don't know what that means <laughs> this is something i'll have to play with and try and figure out and learn but not in a race because why would i stop it so this bit coming down the uh like the bottom of the little valley this bit was so much fun i had such a blast like you're just doing little jumps like that you're just like jumping over uh, jumping over the little whoops oh it was so good it was so flowy as well even though well like it's so whooped out but also so flowy and then i still but there's no one to get past me this lap. I did check, just in case. I was like, no, not again. Too, too into like going forward and not paying attention to where I'm riding. Ah, this, yeah, it was a, it was a very good day. Um, the weather was also what I could probably describe as perfect. I think it was like 23 degrees. Oh, absolutely beautiful. There was a bit of dust, yeah, um, but you know, it, it really didn't matter. I don't, nobody, I don't think anybody was overheating physically. Uh, it was just absolutely beautiful out inside the woods. The trails were immaculate. Whoops, stalled. Don't pay attention to me there. Don't follow that tip top top tip. Stalling. It's not going to help you. Um, yeah, absolutely great trail. So windy. It's a shame it's every two years. I kind of want to get back again next year, but uh, well, that was not as quick as going around the other way, but hey ho. Um, just to make pace I, oh my oh my um, fourth lap i managed to make it to 23rd in class um 
or 20 seconds. I can't tell because of that guy, but either way, it was said. In fact, I think it might have said 21st yesterday, but it seems like people's um, scores are updating. So I can't tell, but it says 23rd right now. So I made it to 23rd in class. Um, I don't know how or where I overtook so many people. Maybe they were stopping to refill. I suspect that was the case because there's quite a few people on MX bikes. It's a little sloppy down here, um, but not not too bad. Nothing nothing like nothing like uh, gophers, but nothing is like gophers. <laughs> Although maybe Walton is next week if it pisses with rain all this week. So coming through here, just a little bit little bit slick, but don't don't nothing crazy. See the roots, don't just go over them straight, don't break on them, you're all good. And then I'm going along and. Oh! Ow! Ah, oh, there goes my fender. Well, keep going, this is still my fastest lap. Go, go, go! <laughs> I'll find that later. I did find it later. We're right at the end of the track, uh, at the end of the lap. So that was so frustrating. That, that route that got me on the first one that almost sent me down sent me down on the second lap and unfortunately um i think it sent quite a few people down and um on damien's second lap he did go down there's a short clip of it later i don't ha obviously have a picture of him going down he, he was elsewhere but i came around on the third lap and i was like oh fuck damien's down uh they thought he'd broken his elbow but fantastic news it was just a dislocation. He's, he, do, he already updated us. He was at the hospital getting x-rays and stuff and they said it's just a dislocation. So that's absolutely great news. And then um, he said it was alright for me to put the photo, video up because, I don't know, like, he looked in pain. Because uh, he no doubt hurt like a motherfucker, but hey, I'm just glad he's not injured. So, just letting people by. Oh, there is, there's Rob. So Rob's, Rob got past me on the third lap. Um, I managed to try, I, like, Rob's a great guy to chat with, uh, and, well, <laughs> he blew the corner. He, he told me afterwards he was embarrassed by that. <laughs> he said, I just got past you and then immediately blow the corner. But I managed to try and keep pace with him for as best as I can. Don't usually get to see him in the race. He's usually miles and miles ahead of me. He has a really good pace, and he did, like, exceptionally good um, in comparison to me. I think he came, like, 40 or 50th overall. Um, yeah, but I'm trying to keep pace with him. It's good to have someone like him in front because then it can help me try and learn a new pace. Um, I'll try to take that corner a little wider and, and like lean it so I don't have to turn as much. It's cool to see him. It's cool to see him ride. I, when he went past me at first, I thought he was shit talking me going, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but actually he was telling me, go on, go on, go on. Oh, almost crashed into him. My bad. <laughs> Okay, don't blow the corner this lap. Oh, they put the fence back up. <laughs> Probably because everyone keeps blowing the corner and doing rings. That's funny. Oh, such a good, such a good ride. So, like, uh, I, I, we've been following for a while. Somebody else squeaks past me. Um, yeah. So many cool things. I, I kept thinking, don't go down there. Don't look to the left. Don't fall down. <laughs> I probably could have gone. Oh, he did what I did. <laughs> oh, that was a sweet jump. <laughs> um, I could have probably squeeze past him, but then, like, he's so much faster than me. It'd be a bit of a dick move to make him have to, like, pass me again. Like, I, he's, he's not in my class. He's in the pink class, so we're not fighting for, um, fighting for class positions. But it's also good to just see him go through, because uh, it's so... I find, like, I learned so much from these races, just following people who are superior. There's all superior riders to me. You just follow them, even if you can't keep up for like 30 seconds. I just feel like I learned so much in the 30 seconds just trying to tell them. So, you know, it's been quite a big chunk of the lap. Rob's not that far ahead yet. I haven't completely fucked myself over, but um, I can't maintain his pace continuously. Although I do I do catch him up a little bit again in a minute, but he eventually pulls away and just keeps making distance on me because he's just super, super consistent. And my times slow a little bit. Especially on my fifth lap, where I wasn't able to like hold onto the bars anymore. God, I hope those new gloves come soon. <laughs> I don't want to ride with the other ones I have anymore. They haven't fallen apart, which is incredible, but they're kind of like, no matter how much I wash them, they're kind of blood stained and kind of crispy, and it's not pleasant. So, yeah. 
This is the little sand bit I was talking about. It's such a cool little feature. And then you can see the people who are superior riders. Oh, look at that. Turning, sliding in. Oh, it's, it is a little weird looking down at the front right now, just seeing my um, my front wheel. Although it was actually kind of cool. I know it's not right because... Um, it's just not right because you, I shouldn't be able to see my front wheel and it's flinging mud in my face, but it's cool seeing how the front wheel works. And... I think it actually helped me, like, gauge where I should be sitting a little bit better. It's kind of weird to say, because when, you, when there's a fender there, you don't really ever know what's going on under there. Yeah. A bit of a strange thing to say, I guess, but I'll pop the old fender. He's 90 degrees, somehow. I guess he ran out of fuel, or I don't know what happened. Oh! Go, go, go! He actually did that two laps in a row to me. The fourth and fifth lap he did that to me. Um, so my lesson learned there is, if you notice a four stroke gets by you, don't follow them into a tight corner like that. Because if they flame out, they usually have to kickstart. <laughs> they can't start as fast. Although he, he he did a solid one kick, get that bad boy going. But there's been times, there's been times. <laughs> so this, was a, this, uh, this bit was on the last lap where I bloody crashed into a tree looking at Chris, but I was so impressed with his riding. Like, that fella, he's, come, he's coming along, he's really good. Um, yeah, and then I'm pottering through here, I hear someone coming up behind, so I, you know, I move over, let him by. There's lots of places to move over safely, and then I was like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Slow down, slow down, slow down. Ah, shit, Damien's down. Fuck, ah, it's not, right not something you want to see, Maybe but... He did exactly the same shit as me, yeah, as I was saying to myself. But yeah, he, he's good, he's recovered. Uh, well, not recovered. He's recovering. No broken elbow, so that's 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 great news. And yeah, so the Cochrane's XC. Big shout out to all of the people who uh, cut the trail or the, the club and the um, the farm to let us ride their property. I, I can't wait for the next time I can come back. Hopefully, my bike won't be smashed to pieces. Oh, my speedo worked for a split second there, and it's broken again. Ah. <laughs> uh, I suspect everyone was laughing as I come through with no fender. Because I've been laughing. So I think this is just one last little clip of me doing a jump. Whee! Oh, the next lap I actually clear it. Anyways, that'll do. See ya.